Whale meat. We spent a few days of hard work here in the Mechanist Lair, setting this place up. Now, I've already talked about making this place a hub for the robot, robot caravan network, but that was only half the plan. The other is to turn it into a mechanized printing press to mass-produce the guide, as well as the new paper Piper is producing for the Greater Commonwealth. We're thinking of going with the name Boston Bugle, which was the biggest newspaper in Boston before the war, so it's a name people will already recognize. Using this place as the factory has the added benefit of being easy for my robot caravanners to pick up copies for distribution, since this is their hub. Anyways, Meat, that's what we've done, and things are definitely coming together nicely. But, Nate, my uh, host body here, is really starting to bug me again about going after his stupid kid. So, I guess it's time to head back to Diamond City and track down this Nick Valentine. First, though, let's go throw the switch on the factory and give the people a tour. Though, I did have a bit of unfinished business with Heather. Maybe let's do that first. as good as I do? Oh, that was great. I tend to agree, Heather. Look alive. <clears throat> Can I do something for you? Well, I think I just did something for you, and you did something for me. What's on your mind? You know, my parents were Brotherhood. Oh, I'm sorry. They were from California originally. Traveled to the Capital Wasteland under Elder Lions. At some point, they fought with Lions and left. Dad said they abandoned lions and his bad ideas, not the Brotherhood. I always had the feeling they wanted to go back to California. But they came here instead. Closer, you know, less dangerous trip. Being cautious. Not a bad call. Shut My up, Post. My mom was a paladin. She's the one that trained me with weapons. <laughs> she wasn't going to have a kid that couldn't handle herself. She died a long time ago. My dad's a scribe. Hmm. So mom's the badass and dad's the nerd. I wonder if I knew them back in the Capital Wasteland. Eh, probably not, though. They s seem like they would have been outcasts, those fucking lamos. Are you asking me for help again? Nope. Just boring you with stories about my dad and how he left years ago. Mm, yeah, it was pretty boring. Did you ever ask him why? Yeah, but he wouldn't give me a straight answer. He might have left because my mom was gone. You know... Grief can make people do some weird shit. Alright. 
What's on your mind? Take this. I think you'll like it. Oh, yes, I love ceramics. That was it. Roger that. All right, well. <clears throat> oh, it's dark in here without my light on. Okay, so let's take a little tour. Actually, is she following me? Come back. Look alive. Yep, she does appear to be following me. All right, so let's take a little tour of my new factory floor. Now, we actually have to switch the power on. So let's do that. All right, here we go. Boom. Pulling cloth out of, uh, of this machinery that, you know, pumps right into the uh, workshop. And then it goes here into our printing press. And boom. Boston Bugles. Heather's, uh, or sorry, rather, Piper has worked up a mock copy, uh, or, you know, basic copy for a first issue. I think she mostly used uh, recycled crap from public occurrences, but whatever. I think she added in a bit about, uh, you know, what we're doing, uh, what we've done recently here in our most recent travels. All right, so then this goes along. Oh, that didn't seem to work. Uh, you know what? That's not plugged in properly. All right, we can actually... Yeah, here, here we go. Uh, hmm. I'm confused. Let me see here. Let's fix this. Oh, I see the problem, I think. Turn that on. Turn this off, maybe. Nope, none of that's working. Yeah, we don't want that on. Turn that off. Turn this one... Oh, that one's already on. This one's off. Right. Okay. Maybe I got a faulty uh, separator here. Let's fix that. Oh, that's the goddamn problem. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Alright, so now, when the divider's on, it gets put some of these back in here for recycling if we need it. But otherwise, they get dropped into this handy little bin here. And uh, it's right near one of the doors where the dudes can pick it up. So that's half of the factory. Now for the more important part, really. Let's turn on this switch. Oops, not what I meant to do. Let's turn on this switch. <gasps> and boom, here comes the Wanderer's Guide to the Wasteland. Now this one's got a real roundabout path. So it hits this thing, and that's like a lift that brings it up to the next level. So we'll head up here to that. And then it goes through that, into that lift, which goes up here. So you can see it going along there, loops around this way, and comes back out here to hit another lift. All the way up to the top level, where it comes around through a long pass here to end up here, in this bin. And uh, our robots can pick them up here. So they don't all come this way, because again, we recycle when we, uh, you know, basically I have this set up so they just kind of, every other one gets used and then some get recycled into their component parts, though it doesn't work entirely properly, but, you know, close enough. Um, occasionally a few might get thrown off the 
mechanism entirely. But, um, you know, this way uh, we don't get too many things going, um, and we can reuse the parts and all that. So, good times. So that's our factory. Yeah, this will uh, fill up and we'll have a whole bunch of guides ready to be handed out by our robot caravans. Alright, Heather, let's um, let's show the people the other thing we did with this place. Gave good old Piper an area to work over here. So, she's got her little desk with a computer. She can type away. She's got all of her materials and her coffee. Got some posters hanging up here. Meat's been chilling over here. Obviously, this is where I was earlier, giving my monologue. Um, but she's got her printing press, her like old-fashioned uh, thing, so she can do the typesetting and whatnot. That gets, you know, a base copy ready for the printing press down there. Um, but yeah, she's got a little sleeping area in case she wants to hang out here. And cigarettes. Um, but yeah, so that's what we do with this place. But now we're going to get on the road. So meet. Come on. Come on, buddy. Hold position. No, Moving bottom. out. And Piper. Point the way. Move out. Uh huh. Hey. Yep. Piper. You really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? Well, you know, like I told you, that Shagorth guy throws it all my way. It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. <clears throat> Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Ooh, a bad girl, eh? Someone poisoned you? Pff, you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is. The still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. What a lady. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Well, you ever think maybe it wasn't poison, but a roofie? You are a good-looking lady, after all. But you know, I was almost executed once, too. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I traced the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe, when suddenly I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself, and they buy it. They pulled me back from the ledge, and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. Took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. Hmm. Well, sorry to hear you got roped into religion, but I do appreciate your ability to talk your way out of trouble. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory. 
but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know. I'm real happy to be along for the ride. Well, ain't that the truth. About the excitement, anyways. My life is seemingly endlessly exciting. But, oh, there's reward. Speaking of which, I can think of other rewards we can reap. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's, that's awfully sweet. And unexpected of you. So, you want to get out of here? Jeez, no wonder you're single. If that's how you react to my smooth moves. Look alive. All right, you're following me. Good. All right. But yes, let's get out of here. Got the factory pumping. Got the gang all ready to go. Let's get our ass to Diamond City. Wow, hey. <clears throat> Look at this, gang. Christmas lights. Christmas decorations. A little Christmas tree. Read that article in public occurrences? I haven't Dan seen shit like this beginning. since the NCR. The Commonwealth really does show more signs of being a rebuilding civilization than the Capital Wastes or even Vegas. We're gonna make this happen, guys. Alright, well. We need to get on the road. But, um, you know what? I think I'm going to wash my dreads out while I'm here. And, you know, I never did get around to reading uh, Piper's article hey, on me, so... Who wants to look maybe here? I'll read that while I'm getting my hair cut. across the Commonwealth. We got hairstyles for days. Weeks, even. Yeah, all right. Maybe a new color, huh? Sit down. Let's take a look. Right, so <clears throat> while I'm getting my hair cut, let's uh let's read this article that Piper wrote about me. A View from the Vault, Part One by Piper Wright. Whenever I walk through Diamond City, there are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, security. True, what we have would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago. But it's easy to forget that. Even after all the progress we have made, we are still living in the shadow of the world that was. A world before the threat of radiation, before the super mutant, and the feral ghoul, and the synth. So, as fortune often has it, I crossed paths with Solomon, Vault Dweller, a person who is experiencing the Commonwealth for the first time. What would his fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Is Diamond City the great green jewel we have always claimed it to be? Before we answer that question, we have to know who Solomon is, where he comes from. To my surprise, he did not have much to say about his life in the vault at all, because he spent all that time staring at a piece of frozen glass, every day, for over two centuries. That's right, Solomon isn't just a vault dweller, he's an original vault dweller. He spent his entire time on the inside, cryogenically suspended. So what does Solomon have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? Honestly, rebuilding, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. Hope. When was the last time someone in our city talked about hope who wasn't some politician fishing for points in the next election, making empty promises at the wall? But our outsider hasn't let the cynicism of our strange world get the better of him. This is all the more remarkable because of the reason he came to the Commonwealth. You see, Solomon has a son, Sean. And even though they were in the relative safety of a vault, someone broke in and took Sean from his parent, and that parent is now risking everything, wandering through this strange and unfriendly world of ours in order to save Sean from his kidnappers. We all know the rumors and whispers that surround every missing person in Diamond City, the guilty look we pass to 
mourning family members as we think as we thank the wall that this time it wasn't us. You can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend our time worrying about kidnappings? Why indeed? It's easy for us to be cynical about the missing. We have spent so long knowing the Institute is out there, but understanding so little about them. They are not the only ones responsible for kidnappings, but the fact that they sometimes are, and the fact that we have been so powerless to stop them when they do, causes us to treat all victims of kidnappings as if they are a lost cause. But the people left behind, those loved ones, friends and neighbors, who may never see the faces of those taken from them again, they do not have the luxury of being able to just look away. They have to carry that loss with them, even if everyone else tells them to move on and forget. I asked Solomon to make a statement to Diamond City, to give us an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one, and how he feels. Maybe, in some way, it's how we all should feel. Maybe we've forgotten what the right human response to these tragedies are. Find who's responsible, and make them pay, he said. Simple as that. Fiend. All right. <clears throat> well, thanks for the haircut, John. Uh, yeah, straightened it out a little bit. <clears throat> Let's uh, take the hat off so we can see it. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Washed out the dreads. So Kind of a little bit more like what we had in the... In the, uh... In Skyrim. Um... Uh, you know, I feel like I just kind of wanted to wash it out. I'll probably cut it shorter at some later point, but you know, still long from the dreads. All right. Now then, let's get on the road and let's hear some tunes. Nope, not that one. Read the public and be prepared. They can't wipe us out for at least five years. Who's next? Uh, then Indonesia claims that they were going to get one any day. South Africa wants to All right. So one for the black and one for the white. Who's next? We're heading to Park Street Station. Let's uh let's update the data here. Gonna get one. Uh, unlikely Valentine, that's the one. Oh, look, I've got some level ups to spend. Let's do that. I think I need to work on my sneaking abilities. Boom. And let's. Um. <laughs> um. Hmm. What else? Science. Company. Lou, we're not alone here. Oh, go on. Found you. Got you. If you're so smart, why am I kicking your ass? Good question. to bring me down. Keep moving, Scabber. Screw you guys. Keep moving. If you talk to me like that, I just fucking kill mu super mutants fucking encroaching on your territory. Ours now. Yep, damn right. Hmm. 
me to have mutant hound meat. All right, should be um. Actually, let me see here. Yeah, I guess that's about right. Should be a more or less straight shot up this road. Diamond City's influence ends, I guess. Oh, look at this. The old Boston Public Library. Still standing. Oh. Hi, friends. Heads up. That's tough. Was it? Didn't feel all that tough to me. fellas around? Guess not. Alright. Yeah. Huh. Wonder what that is. I'll have to, uh, have to check out that place sometime, but not today. Mm. Trinity Church, too. Also still standing. Okay, I've got no idea where they are. Are they on the roof? I don't know. Whatever. We've got better things to do. Let's go loot this one, though. Alright, well, nothing too good. Oh. What's this, though? Uh, nothing good there, either. Don't catch me dead wearing a yellow fedora. Sure, why not? Alright. <clears throat> was a strange little place you were holding up for yourself there. There wasn't even a bed in it. No one's here. Calm down. Oh, never mind. You guys are gonna hide back there. I'm not gonna come find you. People staying in the bar the other night. 
There was a uh, Universe <laughs> Comics, huh? Might have to check that out another time. It was some sort of chems deal, like selling them or something, and it went bad. Gunshots, people dead, that whole shebang. It's weird, but um, this happened uh, at about the same time Boston that Henry Common. Cook went. We're walking uh, right into Boston Commons. Went missing. People don't Is come back from here. Why not? Maybe. It's just a park. It's, uh, it's unclear when What's so bad about the common? I had this place in mind for a settlement. Probably, though. That's well, I'll have to check it out later. Ooh, just, uh, the Boylston Club. Just another day this the place was the height right? of hoity-toity Boston right? society. I'd love to make that place the throne of the Commonwealth for my red guard ass. So I wonder if I'm right. Here's uh, the ink spots? Maybe. I mean, the song is called Maybe. I mean, it's definitely, it's for sure the expense. It's just going to waste otherwise. Let's see what Mikhail's torn letter has to say, shall we? You know how much I miss you, but it's too dangerous. If you stay in Diamond City, at least I know you're safe. If your mind's really made up, then be careful. Travel at night, stick to the river, and whatever you do, don't go into the common. Hmm. Man, I'm not seeing anything in the common that looks terribly dangerous. Oh, I remember these stupid robots. I, uh... I mean, my host here hated these guided, tour guided tours. And never give up. Preferred walking the Freedom Trail himself. Sid would probably love this thing, though. I, on the other hand, have zero interest. Now. Here's Park Street. Ah, uh, Park Street. <clears throat> Old Nate had a job downtown for a while. Spent many nights on the platform here. Well, probably infested with ghouls now. So let's take it easy. Street. Nate had a job here, downtown. Spent many nights here on the platform. Well, probably infested with ghouls now, so let's take it nice and slow. Nobody here, huh? Kind of ghouls I was expecting. God damn it. Shoot. Come on. Shoot. We don't have to do this. Well, we don't have to. That went better than expected. Ugh, gone. Well, these must be uh <clears throat> Markowski's goons from Good Neighbor. Yes, I am. How'd you know? Gotta shoot him in the head. Still in one piece. Yes, I am. Well, these guys certainly have their uh, own interesting sense of style, don't they? 
<laughs> I don't think I have suspenders and slacks. Let's take a pair of those for fun. You never know when I might want to look like uh, some old mobster from a movie. Well, I think uh, we cleared out all the ones nearby. I think we can uh, be a little less sneaky at the moment. So if none of them came running from uh, the gunfire, then they can't be too close. Maybe I should switch to my uh, silenced weapon, though. Oh. Run away. why they uh, had a bathroom stall trapped. It's a little weird, isn't it? Alright, let's see. Booze. 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 Ah, caps. Uh, I don't think I need the subway tokens. Pretty sure I can hop the turnstile now. Terminal vending functions have been shut down. Please contact the system administrator for more information. The purchasing of subway tokens for this station will automatically cease on 2.11.77 to coincide with the station closing. Any questions should be addressed to the station manager or vault tech representative before your employment termination date. Again, Park Street terminals will cease to validate token dispensions after this date. Previously issued tokens remain usable at all other Boston subway and monorail station mono monotrail service stations. Thank you. Dear Blank, I regret to inform you that your station will be closing due to a purchase agreement with Vault Tech Corporation. As such, we are going through our records and redistributing our many valued employees to other stations and departments. The automated system should identify your new location. You have been relocated to Employee Terminated. Thank you. We look forward to many more years working with you. Hmm. Fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. Vault Tech bought this place and closed it a few months before the war. We're working on a, a vault down here, apparently. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? I don't know, but I'll take it. Got you. That's it. My way, meat. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's uh, switch to our suppressed weapon. are empty, so fuck those ones. <clears throat> now. You ain't fooling nobody with this thing. These guys are a pain in my ass. Which guys? Sure did. Wish it hadn't come to that. Uh, now, uh, a word I don't really mind that it came to that. From our sponsors. 
Diamond City surplus. You're a bad shot, friend. Now open 24 hours a day. Management reserves the right to reduce service to anyone. All right, well, Especially I seem to have lost the element of surprise, so... Here's Big Maybell. Let's switch back with something with a little a more kick. Going on. Uh, Boom. Headshot. Your toast, friend. And I got a bullet with your name on it. Ladies took made short work of him. Since when did Piper start using a laser, anyways? Hey. What can I do? Give me that damn gun. Yeah, that one too, and that one. Where did you get all this shit? Maybe I gave it to you. Actually, that's quite possible. Alright, well. Where was the legendary one that I killed? Him. Yeah. Ooh, a nocturnal rolling pin. Uh huh. You don't say. Okay, well, uh, cool, I guess, or something. I don't know. Oh, good, they get a lot of cram down here. Cram it. It's like the same shit as the other terminal. Got me. Proof of mildness. In a coast to coast test of hundreds of people with normal throats, noted throat specialist reported not mm. one single case <clears> of throat, 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 throat irritation due to smoking camel. Try camels yourself. Then you'll know why camel leads all other brands by billions of Getcha. Cigarettes you. Free Got it. What cigarettes do you smoke, Doctor? That question was asked a few years ago of 113,597 doctors. The brand name most okay. was Camel. Recently, that question was again there? asked of tens no. of thousands of doctors. Not that way, anyways. Doctors in all branches of medicine. And again, the brand named most was Camel. Yes, according to these nationwide... Wooden crates unlocked. Why don't I just... Or locked. Why don't I just break it? ...than any other cigarette. Friends... Sweet. Cryo grenade. That's pretty cool. Might have to use that. How enjoyable a cigarette can be. Yes, change to camels for 30 days, and you'll stay with camels from then on. Guys are awful sure of yourself. Pretty happy with my lucky strikes, really. test was made. Hundreds of people from coast to coast, people with normal throats, smoked only camels for 30 days. 
Okay. Getting into a new area here, so let's get back into cover. I see a Nuka Cola Quantum. Try camels for 30 days and see how mild, how flavorful, how enjoyable a cigarette can be. Already? Jesus Christ. Yo! Dick Powell with a special message. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the makers of camels have sent more than 198 million gift camels to our armed forces. This week, gift camels go to hospitalize servicemen and veterans at Veterans Hospitals, Framingham, Massachusetts, and Durban, Michigan. U.S. Naval Hospital, San Diego, California. And to all hospitals operated for the U.S. That's Air better. In the Far East. Now, until next week, enjoy camels. I always do. Stand still for a moment and let's see if we can see anything. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> hey, something's out there. Not sleeping for long, is he? And here's another one. Let's see what we can do here. What I really need is a long range fucking silenced weapon, but. I'm not skilled enough to make one yet. Come on. Hey, something's out there. All right, let's switch it up. God damn it! Got gotcha. you. Oh, I think he died on you. Them. It's like meat finished him off. Atta boy meat. Alright. Sure, I'll take a mute fruit. shenanigans Vault Tech got up to in here. Looks like you're familiar with them, Heather. I do have to say, the opening of the Vault Door is always impressive. Feet me. That's one fourteen, huh? Why is that thing so loud? Hello? Just is. is that you, skinny? Yeah, sure, it's skinny. What? God damn it, I missed. The fuck? How's that even possible? You just heard uh your holiday. I feel like meat got all the work done there. For over ten generations. Free for the taking. Betty Hutton sounds like she sure is mad about mm, duct tape. Some guy. Here's all right. Song. Well, let's see what there is to see here in Vault 114. Can't open that door.
Got it. Oh, that was easy. Damn right, Piper like that. Ah, <clears throat> a vault suit to add to the collection. And Drogas. All right, let's see what vault Tech was up to. Greetings! After many months of preliminary construction, we are pleased to welcome members of the technical and scientific staff to the newest addition to the vault Tech family, Vault 114. Like you, we are excited to get started on our latest endeavor, but we are not quite ready to open that great big gear door to our new residence yet. As you've probably noticed, we've contracted outside of vault Tech for construction on this one, since it is utilizing a unique space. By repurposing the former Park Street subway station, we will be seeing a decrease in building costs, as well as a shorter timeline for construction. This fits perfectly with the vault's observational studies, which will be revealed in a future memorandum. However, because of this, we will be seeing a lot of civilian traffic until construction is fully completed. It is up to you to help maintain the security of Vault 114 and its experiment from prying eyes without proper clearance. Loose lips sink ships, of course. They also result in immediate termination and possible criminal investigations. Welcome once again, vault Tech Management. This memorandum is meant for members of the Vault 114 Science Division only, or those with appropriate security clearance levels. SL... negative... 4 plus? Whatever, I don't know. Or SL4 plus, I guess. All others must exit this terminal immediately and report your infraction to the Overseer or member of the vault Tech Security. Thank you! Social Science Division. As mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of local state and government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabiting solely with others of Boston's upper class. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. Multiple families, chosen randomly, will live and sleep in single-room apartments, dining and bathing will be in shared quarters, and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the overseer position from many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience, and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. Human Resources tells, tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in service life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at at all during the experiment, even, and especially, if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment, or harm to the residents. Thank you. Vault Tech Management. Well, you know, I gotta say, uh, ooh, a pre-war pack of cigarettes. That, uh, that actually sounds like a, a pretty funny experiment, honestly. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm biased with my strong anti-authority, you know sentiment, but uh, not that I love more than uh, seeing aristocrats made uncomfortable by, uh, you know, us low-class people. Shot, boom. All right. <clears throat> Here's a chunk of them.
can't put out these lights. All right. Hmm. Having a hard time nobody believing that nobody's patrolling out here. shot when I had it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, shit. There he goes. Back again. And hopefully he's going to go right back to where he was standing before. Or he's going to walk in circles. Who knows? Riddance to bad garbage. Right. Still These guys are relatively so tough. close. What do you think? Metal underpants? They're not really that tough. Ooh, that's fancy. <sighs> okay, well. Let's see what else there is to see down here. Open door. Let's see if I can seize anybody. Nope. We're gonna have to try to sneak up on them real. Oh shit! There's one. What was that? I don't know. Where did that come from? I love idiots with melee weapons. Unexpected bit of news. I heard that a group of soldiers. Is it knights? Soldiers? Constabulary? What are we calling them now? Hey, buddy. Uh, Who's there? Soldiers from the Brotherhood of Steel were spotted in the car. Bye bye now. It sounds like they were, uh. <laughs> well, they were kind of a company downstairs. The Cambridge Police Station. They were in. Somewhere. Ooh, the day passed 199. Yeah. The vault dweller showed up and gave me. Who should I not have crossed? Or a gun. Where'd she go? Or Which one of you lost? The vault dweller helped them. Down this hole, huh? Guess they'll probably be well, in the way soon then. I can think right. of things to throw down holes. Oh, we're gonna die! Oh. Wynoni Harris. Had a grandma that gambled, I guess, and so he uh, he wrote a song about it. And I'm not just talking about it; I intend to play it. So here it is. <laughs> that worked lovely, perfectly. But the day is already hot. But the smell of That's what you get for uh, giving up the high ground, boys. You get dead. Oh boy. Oh boy, you got real dead. Gooey deadness from plasma. Days don't stop like the days out here anywhere else in the land. All right. Or a cowboy's got a range to ride. Oh, you all right there, are they? Out here they smoke for flavor. Flavor big and bold. Mm, looks like the same shit. Out here the only smoke they smoke is Marlboro. Red or gold. All right. Come to Marlboro Country. Put 
Okay. Yeah, that was some duct tape over there. Guess not. Alright. Let's keep moving. Pre-war Braxo. Sure, why not? I can go for some Mohammedan coffee. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy, cheating, card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Gotcha. Well, you don't have to worry about Skinny Malone now, buddy. And I guess now I know where Valentine is. But before we go let him out, let's see what there is to be seen in here. In the loot department. Generations lived in here before they opened up the vault. The vault part that's but they weird, were sorry guess, right? when they got outside. Well, it's nice and safe. I'm kind of guessing nobody lived in here. It's an unfinished vault. Well, anyway, uh, I mean, there might have been a few idea. people in here. Workers and whatnot who died, Let's but. Let's go back uh, to the music. Here's Roy Brown again. Hey, he's not chopping or being mighty. Oh, I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe it was uh, occupied at some point. I guess we'll see when we uh, find some of the, the real vault computers. Ooh, an ice cold Gwinnett Hale. Got you. That's it. Hmm. It's pretty lame haul. All right, Dino. Okay. Ooh, I'm number nine nine eight. <clears throat> Valentine, nice friends you got here. Hey, Valentine. You gonna talk? Uh, Why do you risk everything to find me? Just a private eye. Wait a minute. The detective is a robot? Whoa. What? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. Uh, well, I cut you loose because, well, it's kind of a long story. I need you to find someone, but it's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be or how long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame, and she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Hmm. Is your lingo for real? It's kind of weirder than uh, Codpiece's voice module. Hey, look at this. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's see. This is the overseer's office. 
Well, <clears throat> let's see what's in the Overseer's terminal. Greetings, Overseer. I hope this message finds you well, and your move into your new position has been an easy transition. Your appointment as Overseer came with high recommendations from our interviewers, and we hope you will be the perfect fit that everyone believes you to be. Please do not be nervous, as we have chosen you based on your natural qualities, decision-making skills, and unique personality. We believe that you possess innate abilities as a leader that will bring this vault into the new world new world nuclear war creates. So don't worry, just go with your gut and everything will work out perfectly. Good luck, Vault Tech Management. Right, I got a few holot tapes here. Interview 87, 321. Well, start at the beginning. Certainly not going to you, is it, buddy? Let's see how the next one went. This isn't going well for you, honey. Next. This is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name the soup can hear. That's a cool name. Oh, nice. This guy sounds like a real massel. Go to the Illuminati Freemason sex parties. Crazy loner who lives under a bridge and only eats rad roaches. Voltic was evil, but their ideas were genius. Gotta agree. 
Someone's got a beat on me. Blue, we're not alone here. Here's trouble! Anyone you what walk away from. Get you. All right. In our hands. <coughs> sure is. Ooh, fancy lads. I do love fancy lads. Snack cakes. That's it. Let out the beast. I'm glad you uh, have given me uh, permission, Piper. Oh wait, I think you were talking about something else. Never mind. Nice. Didn't I kill somebody over here? Uh, maybe he was over here somewhere? I don't know. Oops. There he is. He's got nothing, though. What a loser. And this guy's got nothing. Oh, right, this guy. There. He's just the best, isn't he? Um, he's okay. Alright, well, looks like about it well, in there. A, uh, I guess it's a unexpected bit of news. I Hard heard that and a group loud, of soldiers. Huh? Well, get the job done. Soldier? Too bad for whoever cleans up. More Braxo. Now. Eh, soldiers hmm. from this is Soup Can Harry in here. He's uh, got a Braxo Not nearby. In the Commonwealth. Sounds like they were, uh, <laughs> well, they were kind of in trouble at the Cambridge Police Station. Right, come on, everybody out of the way. They were in pretty bad shape for a while. Let's go here. But the, uh, the vault dweller showed up and gave him a hand. Or yeah, I'm a nice guy. Or some, the vault dweller helped them, is what I'm trying to say. Guess they'll probably be on their way soon, then. Yeah, that's right. right? Spread the word for me, Travis. This is civilization by, uh, it's by... This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Right. All right. Do your thing, Nick. Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Fair enough. <coughs> Tells the native population that civilization is fine. And the educated savages holler from a bamboo tree. Who's it? A lucky bamboo tree. And civilization is a thing for me. Time to death. Yeah. Goddamn it, Piper. I'm so happy in the jungle. I refuse to go. All right, very funny. Get back to work. Very funny. Come on. I'll stay right here. Yo, don't run ahead, Nick. I look through a magazine. Being sneaky here. I see how people who are civilized bung you with autumn. Sweet. Now this is where Soup Can Harry should have been hanging out. They got all the Abraxo in here. What the? Christ. I told you not to run ahead, Nick. Part of that don't you understand. Now that's one way to get that cool and pumping. Right. Me. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? God damn it. Yo, there we go. That'll do, pig. Put 
fuckers. Oh, Christ. Who the hell's out here? I don't even know. Whatever. Nick's gonna run ahead and fucking aggro everybody, then he can deal with it. Leave it so soon! Too scared. Yeah. Real afraid. I can't have Piper stop teleporting into my way. Ooh, military grade duct tape. Duct tape. Anything I can do? You just say the word. No, you can stay out of my way when I'm trying to sneak around and shoot people. <clears throat> Novice lock is this? There we go. <clears throat> yes. All right. Yeah, I'm awesome. Uh, I don't need a bowler hat. Neat. Can you not? this guy is. Oh, hello. Hey, we just hit the mother load. Those are not preserved, but those are. <coughs> and pre-war sugar bombs, I think. And those are empty. All right, not as much of a mother load as I thought. You know, Heather, that doesn't help. What? What are you doing? <sighs> Sometimes I just don't know about you people. You're welcome. Who built this damn ball? A fitness instructor? Are you out of shape, Nick? Sometimes. Yeah. There we go. That's it. Hmm, what's going on in here? Cash monies. Looks really strong. Damn. Ooh, a tuxedo. Cash monies. Caps. Caps. I guess the silver is good. Anything up top? No. Uh, how close am I to level one up? Not close enough. More booze.
booze galore. Those ones are empty. God damn it. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. It's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. That was the ink spots with. Well, let's check this out first. That part hmm. never... <clears throat> that looks like people did check in. All right. I don't know where they went. All right. Well, let's go confront uh, Skinny Malone. What are you doing? You're coming yeah. to my house? Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this, this is going to set me back? Uh, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor I, I, little I, Valentine. I'm not saying anyone Ashamed you got beat up I'm by not, a I'm girl. Not, I'll just <coughs> run back home to death, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. I, I was, uh, I, In this I, I, vault, I, I, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Anyway, Valentine uh, must have brought him here to rub us all out. Hmm. Well, I have no idea what this means, but let's uh, put our trust in Mama Murphy and give this a go. Wait, Skinny. Remember the quarry? Lily June on the rocks? Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got until the count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dollar. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. Better get out of here. Talking about themselves in the third person, no less. Well, thanks, Mama Murphy. You drug-addled old coot. Gonna have some jet in your honor later. Listen for a moment to what the tobacco experts say about the kind of leaf Lucky Strike buys. Take Mr. L. Garland Griffin, the tobacco All right, Nick. You know a better way out of here? Recently said, all in all, Apparently he does. Over million pound of tobacco. And tobacco. Season, I've seen Lucky Strike buy fine tobacco. Prime, ripe leaf. The kind of tobacco mm -hmm. downright mm -hmm. good. Delicious. Leaf. I've smoked Lucky's regularly for 14 years. Now there's a tip for your friends from a man who really knows tobacco. So for your own deep down smoking enjoyment, light up a Lucky. You'll agree with the tobacco experts, with a million who choose Luckies for a finer, milder, smoother smoke. Yes, ah, look, look at that pack. Commonwealth sky. Never, never thought anything so naturally ominous Luckies. could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Oh, uh, well, you know, I have my ways. Um, what kind of bot are you anyways? I've never seen anything quite like you. Just, what are you, Nick? You really don't know? I'm a synth. Synthetic man. All the parts, minus a few red blood cells. Are you saying you're fully I functional? Old. I got old. I got tossed. Then I opened up that little agency in Diamond City, and turns out people have plenty of problems to solve. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. You don't look like the synths I've seen. They look like metal skeletons. And the one I saw in the Capitol Waste looked like a human. You don't look like either, but okay, I'll head back to your office. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. You're not an idiot. Um, thanks, Piper, but can we have this uh, conversation in a minute? 
Uh, all right. Let's see here. I think. I think I actually want to head back to Sanctuary and thank Mama Murphy. Let's see if she has anything else to tell me. So, I think we're gonna do that. You know, on second thought, I think I'm just going to head back to uh, Diamond City. We can go back to Sanctuary and check in on Mom Murphy a little bit later. For now, I want to get this show on the road. I guess I can have that conversation with Piper. Hey. You know, I still really appreciate the fact that you're not an idiot. I also appreciate the fact that I'm not an idiot. But, you know, thanks for noticing. Took you this long to notice, huh? No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. Me? Good with people? Okay. Wait, becoming you? Is this a body snatcher type thing? Wait, become you? Like, replace you? Is not a synth... Oh, well, there's something I'm gonna lose sleep over for days, but no. Not like a synth. More like she's gonna start following in my perilous footsteps. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but... Personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking... Maybe if I make myself scarce. If I'm not around her enough. She'll cool off. She'll just go back to being... Sweet, innocent Nat. Paper girl. An all-around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? Well, you know. People are weird like that, Piper. And they tend to have their own ideas about who they're gonna be. You don't get to decide who Nat's going to be, Piper. She does. All you decide is whether you want to be a part of her life or not. You're right. She's her own person and always will be. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? I'm a hell of a guy all around. Maybe uh, more than a friend, eh? Just friends, huh? Uh, I guess, but I thought I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey. Yes. So take off all your clothes. Me. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you want to hit the road? No, that's a, that's generally what we do, isn't it? That reporter, huh? Be careful there. The mayor's got it in for. Her. Yeah. Okay. Well. That's just great. All right, uh, let's go. Um, I guess let's go report it into Nick. Eh? How's that? A ceramic bowl. Okay then. Um, yeah, let's go talk to Nick. Is that a pit boy? Give my left arm for one of those. Uh, well, there's Nick right now. What the hell were you doing, Nick? God only knows. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. Ellie, are you here? Nick? Oh, God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's going to laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Well, there are ways to thank me. Metal detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Partner, huh? Make yourself comfortable. I'd rather partner up with you, good looking. But, uh, all right. 
I guess I gotta channel the concerned husband and father here. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Uh, yeah, very painful. Um... <clears throat> My wife was... She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? Well, nothing really went wrong. I kind of feel like they're amateurs. At least compared to me. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? So they're determined, yeah. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. Professionals, my ass. Fight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Damn right. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took you. Glad I don't have to take care of agenda. it. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Gunners. That like raiders? Who were the gunners? High end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Hmm. Sounds like uh sounds like they could be competition for me. Alright, so what about raiders? You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Yeah, I tend to agree. They're chumps. I certainly don't think it could be super mutants. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. You know, we've killed a bunch of them, Nate. It's hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. Yeah. Um, well, seems like you're leaning towards the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Prototype? You don't look human. Just how the hell old are you? You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Hmm. Alright, well. How do you not know anything about your makers? You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Alright, well, this chat isn't getting us far. Let's move on. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Well, they had, uh, odd fashion sense. The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. 
Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? Hmm. Dude had a memorable, memorable voice, but uh, not sexy like mine. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Uh, not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? Uh, well, he had a serious piece. Looked like a sequoia, maybe. The man who... He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? Eh, dude was bald, ugly, scarred. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? What? Like the breakfast cereal? Uh, but no, they weren't giving me their business cards. Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right. Calm down. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Hmm. So maybe this guy is a serial pedophile who likes to train him young? Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah. Either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Alright. Field trip. didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Well, he hasn't met me yet. I also have no living enemies. Except for him, I guess. Nick. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. Hold your horses. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Lock tight. Nope. <clears throat> That's out of my reach. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? Uh -huh. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Alright, well. Guess we're going to the mayor's office, Piper. I'm sure you're going to enjoy that. Where'd you come from, Heather? Boom. Heard you rescued Valentine. Good work. Thanks. Don't sit scare the hell out of me. Nikki, you ain't like those institute psychos. Yeah, well, I'm pretty awesome. Everyone needs a Keep that in mind. Step up. The latest news from the Commonwealth. Step up anytime. Alright. Let's have a little elevator ride. And, you know, while I'm having an elevator ride, let's have a beer.
Ah, this is nice. Get a nice view of the city while drinking a beer. Good times. It's a lovely evening. At least I think it's evening. Alright, guess we're here. Let me finish my beer up. There we go. Well, hello the there. The receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I don't know what's going on with your hair there, darling. You've got uh, silver hair like an old lady, but uh, your face is all young and hot, as well as your body. I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Hmm. Yeah, well, I know how it is dealing with bureaucrats, and I've already, already dealt with this asshole. I can feel the gears of bureaucracy grinding me up already. Like grist in the mill, honey. Good luck. Well, thanks, darling. No funny business. At least you're straightforward about it. Got it. Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all right. It's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, listen, I need to, uh, I need to search Kellogg's house. I'm sure, sure you just have a copy of his key, you being the mayor of this great city. I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every yeah. citizen in my city has a you right to their large fire. pants, fatty. Now, I'm sure you got plenty of room in your pockets. Key. Only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. Hmm. I'm certainly not going to bribe you, so I guess I'm going to have to try to sweet-talk you. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. Yeah, you're an asshole. So that's it? You're not gonna help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Alright, well, sit out and spin, you fat fuck. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. So I'm gonna need another drink, cause uh, this ain't over yet. Maybe I better have some coffee though. That might be a better idea. I don't want to get too drunk right now. Cause now let's try to sweet talk Geneva here. Hey Geneva. I'm sorry, but you're not getting that key for me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? Mm, let's see, flirt or sob story. Women go for the sob story. Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. Mm, All right. Thanks, honey. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to forget that I picked this up. See you later, darling. Piper enjoyed my sweet talking. Uh, who are you? You there. We need to talk. We do? Ugh, I can smell blue blood from a mile away. Buzz off, old man. Shut up, you punk. Did you kill my son, Nelson? Did you? Oh, that kid, right. I didn't kill Nelson. Whoever told you that was lying. Uh, you are an easy target for anyone trying to shift blame off themselves. If it wasn't you, then 
who was it? Do you know who killed Nelson? Hmm. Well, this is fortuitous. Get off the hook for killing this idiot's punk kid and get rid of a troublemaking crime boss who is also potentially, potentially a competitor for my own business. I heard it was Morowski. Nelson was buying chems from him. I know he was. And now it makes sense why Morowski would try to put the blame on you. That bastard needs to pay. And you can't be too happy about him pinning this on you, right? I'll pay you 400 caps to take care of him. We both win. What do you say? Hmm, not a bad offer, but uh, you're a rich fucker from the upper stands. I'm sure you can pony up a little more. Throw in another 200 caps and I'll take care of Morowski for you. 600 caps? You have an awfully high opinion of yourself. I hope you're worth it. Deal. It's a well-deserved opinion, trust me. All right, well, I gotta kill Morowski now, huh? Well, supposedly he's in good neighbor, and I do hope to get there relatively soon. But first, we gotta finish up this business with uh, Kellogg. Might want to pay Geneva a visit later, too. Maybe she can console me about my poor little kid. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Okay. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. All right. Let's do just that, Nikki. Right. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. Place seems small to you. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess it's a bit small. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? That's it. Let out the beast. Handcuffs. Hmm, should I ask? Something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. A switch. A button. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Looky here. Well, Smell the cigars? That's one way to it's hide him. a room. What do we have in here? Bullets. Bullets. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco sunlights. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, hello. <clears throat> Two Nuka Cola quantities. Interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Now, what, uh. Robot detective uh, has no fucking words of wisdom on this. What kind of robot detective are you, anyways? What? The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Damn. Joking aside, Touchy. but what about dog meat? A commonwealth mutt like him can track a man sent for miles. Hmm. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I don't know. Meat tends to mostly have a nose for tasty glowing poop and dog poon, but I guess we can give it a go. Come along for now, Nick. I might need more tracking than meat can provide. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Now, can I get back to looting this guy's, uh... Shit. Who just... Oh, meat went out. Okay, well, whatever. 
Iguana bits. Dirty water. Bullets. Ooh, fusion cores. All right. Drugs. Ooh, special drugs. Orange mentats. All right. Good show, good show. Yeah, I'll take that Quinnadale yeah, too, of course. Uh, well, yes, actually, Nick. Actually, no. Heather. Hi. Valentine should be able to help find the guy I'm after. I don't really trust him, but he's the best chance I've got. Let's see what you have. Here you go. Buy that thing. That's probably about it. I think meat has everything else I want to sell. Hey. Got something good for me? I mean, I've got stuff. Okay, well, let's uh let's go see what meat can do. All right, meat, put uh, glowing poops and getting your knot in out of your mind. Dog meat, get the scent, boy. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. Hey, Jeez, calm down, calm down, Nate. Ooh, I leveled up. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, get my lock picking up to master. and powerful out because God only knows what we're going to be up against out here. Looks like not the not the shotgun. <clears throat> Either the Kalish or the Glock. Alright, come on meat. Let's go buddy. can track shit. Who knew? Did I ever tell you about the San Francisco sunlights I found at University Point? Kellogg gets around. Well, looks like we're gonna find him for you, Heather. It's, honestly, I don't really care about him all that much, but I'm just doing it to get Nate off my back. Hey. Somebody was here. You think it was Kellogg? San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Keep okay, going, mate. boy. Let's track him. Oh, hi. Fuck you. How it's done. Is that all of them? Just going to waste otherwise. Mm-hmm. Well, we're at good eating. 
Don't let no one tell you otherwise. Where was the glowing one? I killed a glowing one somewhere. Is that him? Nope. Blood stain. No, no. Hm. Well, who knows? Oh wait, there he is. Hey there, buddy. Irradiated blood, nuclear material, you got all sorts of good stuff. Thanks, buddy. What the hell's going on here? Besides lots of radiation. Ooh, lots of radiation. Okay, let's get away from that. That was a mistake. I figured there might be something good there with uh, all that radiation, but I uh, guess not. I guess I can use one of Heather's things. Which one of them gets rid of rads? Detox tea. Alright, buddy. We will find Kellogg. We'd better find What happened here? Some raider. And his machine gun turret, but uh guess we're on the right path, huh? Bloody well, bandages. Go from Dog meat can track this. Sniff it, buddy, sniff it. Kellogg's still out there. We've gotta track him, boy. Okay, boy, let's track him. Damn. Kellogg uh, seems pretty efficient. Oh, hi. Heads up. Peace. Estimate us again. No, sure won't. Hmm. All right, which way now, buddy? Hmm. Those look like raiders, but we're not going in that direction, so. Just lead on, meat. How's all that? Nothing, I guess. <clears throat> oh, cowboy. Yes, the coast is clear now. Because I killed the Yagwai. Hey, what is that? Oh, dead Brahmin. Alright, well, nothing worth taking there. What the hell's all this? Here, but apparently it wasn't good. Anything useful? No, well, not particularly. No, no, not really. Let's go. Now, where the hell did Meat get off to? Down here? Did he go? What is this? Ah. Oh. 
Hey, dog meat's got something. See anything? Not yet. Hmm. What is this all about? A decoy, huh? Clever. No cigar this time. Well, meat seems to be doing just fine on his own. And we're getting close to, uh, what was it, uh, Forest Grove Marshes? That's that settlement or town over there. Ruined town. So we got the mutated ferns. Found that birdie fella. Oh, hi. For now. Heads up. Incoming. We've got incoming. Damn herky jerky bullshit. Look who it is. Do you do you know these guys? You didn't need that, right? Clean house. Yeah, that's what we did. Relentless automatic shotgun. Hmm. God damn it. Hey Nick. Or no, Heather. Hey. Hmm. Help yourself. Hey. Take whatever you want. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Heads up. Heads up. Look alive. Hey. You as disappointed and skinny as I was. Valentine made him sound as fat as a pregnant yaoguai. Well, let's see what you have. I have the best inventory in the Commonwealth. I didn't really have any, uh, any expectation either way. I mean, I'm not like into fat guys, are you? All right, we're coming, meat. Keep your fucking knot in. Your company. If we're gonna dance, let's dance. We danced. Something's going on up here. What do it be? Robots? You think this was Kellogg's handiwork? Um, well, I can carry something if you need me to. Critical signs. It would seem to be the signs. most obvious uh, idea. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Yeah, you can't feel your legs because there's a foot or two between your head and the rest of your body, you dumb robot. Just tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant, Kellogg. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Another one of his stogies. Well, sniff that stogie, boy. <laughs> that robot certainly wasn't good for shit. Was that rad stags? What was that? Ooh, a legendary rad stag. They won't be bothering anybody 
now. Nope. Oh dear. Quick draw Mac 11 pistol. Okay. Gotta take the tough way up, meat. Is that your idea of a good time? What the hell's going on over here? Power man? That was that guy I found in Eagle Hill. Well, hold up a minute, meat. Let's see what's going down. Oh! Death claws! Yikes! Oh dear. Let's, um. Yeah, let's have a quantum. Alright, first, let's have. Here, actually, first, let's shoot him. Oh, is he dead already? I guess he is. Oh, what happened to Power Man? Power Man's dead too? Confused. What happened, Power Man? Thought you were doing okay. But I guess not. Take your dog to your hollow tag though. Okay, let's see here. Heather, Look alive. Let's do it. I need to trade some things with you. In fact, I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you that. I'm also going to give you that. Free up a little space here. Give you that. That. Alright, yeah. Take all that crap. Now, let's see if we can sell you some of this crap. Give me that torso. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Well, we can do that later. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Give me that back. God damn it. Hey. Um, hey. Got a sec? What are the chances we'd be chasing the same guy? It's weird, but it means we'll get him. We better get him. Hey. Hey, partner. Need something? Yes, I need you to fucking barter Let's with see me. what you have. Christ. You won't be sorry. That's it. All right. Um, let's see. What can I buy from you? All right. Now. I'm tired. I think it's tea time. Want some? Suppose someone should make use of it. Hey. Excuse me. Hey, partner. Let's see what you have. Let's do it. I want you to buy all this crap. Close enough. All right, now. <clears throat> Where's meat? Oh, he's up there. Well, sorry, Power Man. I did try to save you. But since I couldn't, I will take your armor and sell them for caps. One less uh, wannabe fucking superhero in the wasteland, I guess. Where you going, meat? Yo, I have bandages for you to sniff. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Alright, whatever. Looks like we get a little trouble over here.
Oh, hi. God damn I've it. got your back. Got you. Now that's one way to get that coolant pumping. Yeah, I suppose it is. This can't be sanitary. No, no, it can't be. Why don't you all kill a fucking bloat fly somewhere else? I need a bloat fly gland still, I think. Pretty sure I do. But, unfortunately, I don't see one. Alright, are we there yet, meat? Fort Hagen. Oh, this must be it. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? This is it, isn't it? Kellogg's here. All right, Blue. It's you and me. I think dog meat's earned some time off. Look, dog meat doesn't leave my side. Hey, boy. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Don't let this one get you in too much trouble, boy. <laughs> Who, me? I mean, have we ever been in trouble, Meat? I mean, other than that time in Elsewhere. Let's not talk about that. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to I'm not going to go in here right now. In fact, I think I want to get my ducks in a row before I do that, tune up my weapons and armor and whatnot. Um, and I want to go say hi to Mom Murphy. day here in Sanctuary. Ah, and look, they upgraded my uh, lumber yard to a paper mill. Excellent. Good, good. Now we'll have all kinds of paper being sent to the Mechanist Lair. Keep those guides and papers coming. Oh. It is very loud in there, but um, not so much outside, so that's good. Oh, looks like Sturgis built you a little table, huh, Mama Murphy? That was nice of him. This place is starting to look like a proper home, thanks to you. Yeah, uh, what do you got, a tarot set going on over here? Well, yeah, I guess whatever floats your boat, Mama. Mama Murphy. Come back for the site? I need Mad X this time. Another cam, another window to look through. You just want to get high, admit it. Come on, painkillers aren't going to fucking help you get your psychic powers. Why Medex? It's what the site wants. Medex is a painkiller. Strips away a lot of feeling and lets you float out into the mystery of it all. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I guess that does sort of make a little bit of sense. Yeah, here you go. Oh, it just makes everything feel Oh, good, shut up, you too. It? I'm starting to see clearly. I can only see that you are on the right path. If you had any doubts in your mind, you shouldn't. The man you are after, he's the one. He wears all the pain he's caused like a shield. Be strong, kid. The sight's getting foggy. But your energy is glowing brighter than you know. You can win this. He can't hurt you anymore. I can't. I almost thought I couldn't breathe there. Uh, heart's beating like no tomorrow. My heart. Gonna need to rest. Alright, well. The, uh, the last tip you gave me did help, Mama Murphy, so I gotta gonna give you kudos to that and like I said I'm gonna have a bit of jet in your honor so let's do that right now and uh, then we're gonna call it a day cuz we've uh, you know, gotten a lot I'm done not today much use in a fight anymore but back in the day folks used to call me Murphy the mad woman I believe that I believe that about you 
All right, let's get high. You gotta be careful the with that stuff. Running if you give it the wrong I don't fuels. expect that's the kind of habit you're looking for. <clears throat> oh yeah. All right. Well, I'm feeling good, everybody. So it's time to get out of here. Solomon out. Greetings and salutations, Internet. Thanks for watching the latest episode of The Misadventures of Solomon in the Commonwealth Wasteland, Episode 9. If you like what I'm doing so far, go ahead and click on that cartoon pirate head. Subscribe for more. Go follow me elsewhere on the interwebs. Like me on Facebook, Misadventures of Solomon. Follow me on Twitter, at GPSolomon. And if you really like what I'm doing, go ahead and head over to my Patreon at patreon.com backslash greatpiratesolomon. Throw me a buck or two. If you want to see the last uh, episode in the series, go ahead and click on the video window there on the left. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Solomon out.